In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an awesome YouTube thumbnail just using PowerPoint. So let's get into it. All right. Step one is going to be to just get rid of these texts because we don't need them. These text boxes. So get rid of that and get rid of this. So this is going to be our canvas for our YouTube thumbnail. So step two, I guess, would be to you could insert a shape if you want to. But really what I want is I want that kind of classic YouTube thumbnail that you guys probably saw to click on this video. OK, with the it's called the raised background or you could do comic background. They're both going to be the same. I'll show you both. So the comic background, it has a little bit more pop. OK, it's kind of like this, you know, uh, this one would be the best example of what we're looking for or or like this one. This one's pretty good as well. But what we really want is going to be like the raised background. This is kind of the most common one because it really helps to create depth called the action. It's just a solid one. And you can see we have a ton of options. So at the end of your YouTube thumbnail, if you don't like the background that you have, you could easily just change it to a different one. OK, all right, I'm going to go with this one and now we can stretch it out to the full size of this. All right. So now that's pretty good. That is pretty standard. Uh, the second step we could do would be to add really just a picture of yourself or the subject matter, whatever you want. That's going to be up to you guys. Um, I have a picture that I'm going to pull in. OK, so I'll just do that right now. You click on insert, go to pictures. And instead of hitting online pictures, you would do this device. And here's a dumb picture that I took before this. It was just a, a snapshot. OK, I'm going to go ahead and try to take out the background of this photo. If I can't, we'll choose a different one. Or there's other ways to go ahead and remove the background. There's like backgroundremover.com or something like that. Uh, Canva has a very great source in it if you guys have Canva. But for the most part, we should be able to use PowerPoint. And actually, it did a pretty good job. So let's go ahead and mark areas to keep better, better, pretty good. The, the, it's struggling with the hat because it's literally just black on black up there. And so I'm going to zoom in a little bit just to try to really get this good. OK, so now we have it pretty good here. OK, so I'm fine with this. Let's go back to 100 percent. And yeah, they it cropped off a little bit of my face. But at the same time, we could easily just do this, stretch it out some more. And then we don't even have the bad background out there. Like I said, there's a bunch of different ways you can go ahead and just remove the background. I'm showing you guys how to do it in PowerPoint. And then kind of the next thing you could easily do is just use a shadow on an image like this or a glow. It's actually going to be the glow that you want. So you add a glow, but I'm going to go to more glow options because I want to use a black glow. OK, I want to choose the color because that should pop more. See how that instantly like popped. Let's go ahead and show you guys to get that again. Undo, not popping. Redo, it's popping just like that. OK, and obviously we can move this around a little bit if we need to. So let's just take a peek at how it looks right now. So I'm going to go to slideshow from current slide just to see how it looks. Not terrible, not great. I mean, you know, good enough. And this this image right here is well where it'll pop up. You know, that's how the image will view on YouTube pretty much. OK, so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to insert a picture again from online pictures. I'm going to go ahead and type YouTube logo and we can really choose whichever one we want here. Let's try this one. It looks like it has a transparent background. Actually, this one pops. Let's go with this one. OK, let's see if we can re remove the background here. Format picture, remove background. And this is kind of cool. So let's keep this real quick. And now it's popping up with that. I kind of want to keep that, I think. So let's go click on remove background again. I want to keep this part. I think that makes it look sharp. So there we go. OK, so obviously I'm pointing to the YouTube thumbnail and let's just uh, maybe twist the YouTube thumbnail YouTube icon a little bit more. That's fine. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. OK, and then we could also add the glow here if we want to to make it pop. So same same method, just black right away makes it pop. OK, so now we got that. And honestly, this would be a fine one as long as the title and description match. Hey, how to make a YouTube thumbnail in PowerPoint could easily do that. Like this would work just fine because it also creates some intrigue. Now, another thing you could do, you could add a text in there as well. So let's just add a text box. So go to insert text box and then really just wherever you think you want a title um, and then type what you want. I'm just going to go with thumbnail. OK, and the text that I always like is impact. I just feel like it pops up much more and we are just going to increase the text size of this by a lot. I want it to stretch to the full screen. Now you could easily just put it right here too, guys, maybe down a couple then and then we'd want this text to pop a little bit more than it does. So maybe for the color, we would do white that pops up better, I think. And if it's not popping for you guys, what you do shape effects, you go to glow again, add a glow, add a shadow. You could add an outline as well, not to the shape. I apologize. We want to go with the text outline. So you go to shape format, but instead you go over here, text outline, and then we could increase the text outline itself more as well. Okay. So yeah, that's like popping a little, a little bit more. 
probably a little bit too much. You could add a little bit of transparency to it if you wanted to. So that's something you could do. I'm actually going to make this text bigger because I want it to be in the background of me. And then all we would do, so I have it set up the way I want. I added a little bit of white transparency to it. That works. Uh, if you guys like this, you could easily just go boom like that too. This would work too. Actually, I like this a decent amount. I might go with this. So actually, because I like it, I'm just going to duplicate this one. So duplicate slide. I'm going to keep that because I think that pops. What I wanted to do was I wanted to put this up here uh, and move it to the back. So we would go to shape format and send backwards because I want it to be behind me. This is what I wanted it to do. And then we could increase the text size a little bit more and then move it maybe. All right, so in just kind of a FYI too, like I keep trying to click on this text, but I can't uh, because my image is too big. Just crop it down after you remove the background. That's a typical step that you can do. So here we go. Now we got it. So now I, I, I'm easier able to select the text, okay? And let's go with like, 220 instead. So like that is what I was looking for, but hey, this works as well. I like the first one better. Okay, this like really pops to me. I like that. And so the last thing we could do, we could potentially throw in a PowerPoint image as well, uh, like right behind this. So that's going to be the last step. So I'm going to insert a picture, online pictures. <laughs> okay, so we had the PowerPoint logo. And what I want is I kind of want it to be hanging like that, I think, in the background. So going to do the same thing, going to add a glow to it, picture effects, glow, more glow options, click on black again. And then I'm going to send this backwards. I want this to be kind of behind it, just trying to make it work so it pops. And maybe we don't even need that in there. Like we could go right there. I, you know, we don't exactly need the PowerPoint logo in there. Maybe up here, like they all work fine. Sure. That works. Yeah, that'll work. And then it kind of reads PowerPoint thumbnail YouTube. So this works pretty well. I kind of like it. And so let's go ahead and show you guys how to get the final product of this. So once again, you can go to slideshow from current slide You can do that. Uh, you could do a screenshot, which I'm not going to do. Uh, so what you would do is you go to file, save as, and then when you go to save it, you would actually just save it as a PNG file. That's all you have to do. And so now here is the YouTube thumbnail. Now the screen's a little bit stretched. So here, let me bring it down a little bit so you can see it. And there it is. Like, I mean, that's pretty good. That is a typical YouTube thumbnail. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Give a like and subscribe. That helps me be able to put out more content for you guys. I thought this was a fun video. It's also most likely a free option for people. A lot of people have PowerPoint already on their computers, whether that be through work, through school and whatnot, you could use it this way. The nice thing about this is you can save it as a project, then reuse the same thumbnail over and over again while either changing the text or images a little bit. It's an easy option for you guys. So thanks for watching and enjoy the content creation.